Uh, hello guys and welcome back to this channel. Today I want to share with you my personal training. The reason why I want to share because I finally start my new training cycle and uh, for the dynamic bifins and I was thinking maybe some of you are gonna be interested like how I'm personally training and maybe you're gonna pick up some useful information from my experience and apply to your training. I haven't been training for a while, uh, like properly training, because uh, like currently my personal best uh, for the dynamic bifins is 170 and for me to progress in this discipline it should be some kind of periodization plan. I should be doing different stages and then reach my uh, peak performance and then try to do my personal best. And for this I need time. And before this corona starts, actually a few months before that, so let's say Corona starts like roughly like in Thailand roughly in March and I think like in December before that I start my training cycle and I was in a really good shape. I remember like before like the Corona is actually hit us I was doing like multiplies like 140 uh, dynamic and I was like in one session and it was not super hard so I was really good shape. However then as all of you know there was uh, so many lockdowns and then the pool was closed and open and closed and open. I tried actually once to start again my training cycle. Um, I spent like a month of training but then like boom and it was a new lockdown and then the pool was shut down again and then I lost my like gains which I obtained uh, over this month and then again you need to start from the beginning. So this is why I was kind of demotivated to start my new training cycle. However, now I'm really praying that it's finally the pool is going to be open for a while and they're not going to be closed, hopefully. So, and this is why I decide, okay, let's start it again. So again, my current uh, personal best in dynamic by fins is 170. My goal is 180. And this is why the video is going to be called my road to 180 meters, something like this. I haven't like, decided how I'm going to name this video. And it's going to be different episodes. Uh, obviously, this is the first one where I'm going to explain how my training structure looks at this moment. And then uh, I will try maybe post it once or like once per week or maybe once per couple of week. Let's see if you like it or not. Maybe no one gonna be interested in looking for such videos and then probably I'm gonna stop posting them. Uh, but like today I want to share what I'm already doing because I'm already training I think for a few weeks. I start with refreshing my technique because my technique is obviously get rusty. If you're not training your technique is declining. So currently I'm doing like relatively easy training but I try to keep like high volume. So the goal is to like train as much as possible and during the training session I do many many lapses relatively easy uh, with a sufficient rest in between. So I have a high volume and relatively low intensity. And this is a, like if, if in a nutshell this is a, how my progression over the next four months uh, is going to look like. So now I have really high volume uh, and low intensity and then it's going to be uh, volume is going to slowly decline and intensity is going to slowly rise. So currently I have uh, uh, this schedule. So I do let's say three sessions where I'm practicing only 40 meter dynamic bifins and the rest is about I start with a 60 seconds rest uh, on the last few sessions it was 55 and now from the next one I'm going to start doing 50 seconds. So it is a 44 meter dynamic, 50 seconds rest and then repeat for 40-45 minutes. So this is a, uh, my volume session. Uh, again the goal is to bring volume a little bit higher. So the goal is to have a 60 minute session without like no non-stop and then over the next few months um, the, I'm going to increase slightly intensity of this exercise by slowly reducing the rest. So as I said, now it is a 50 seconds and then in a couple of weeks it's going to be 45 seconds, it's going to be 40 seconds, 35 seconds and I think on the last month it's going to be 30 seconds. 
So the volume is still going to be slightly rising in this exercise, but mainly it's going to be intensity rising. And then the second my uh, type of training, so let's say I do three sessions like that, and then one session is slightly more intense and slightly less volume. I do 70 meters, uh, last time I did uh, four times 70, or yeah, last time I did four times 70 uh, with a good sufficient rest, and then next time I'm gonna do 570, 670, 770, uh, etc. So the volume is still rising, but also rising intensity. And at some point when it, uh, the volume is gonna be maximum, then it's gonna slowly going down and intensity slowly going up. So the reason for me to start with this type of training is because I want to, like I said, like refine my training, uh, refine my technique, uh, improve my turning, improve my streamlining, uh, work on my kicking, uh, like try to fix some small mistakes, working on my relaxation, etc etc so in a, in a future videos i'm going to talk about uh, different specific trainings as well uh, this is like first one introduction since i have no idea if you're going to like it or not um, yeah so let me know in the comments if you're going to like this type of videos uh, it's probably going to be hopefully again if there is going to be no lockdown then my training cycle is going to be about four months and i will try to do 180 meters uh, somewhere at the end of the December okay guys uh, thank you for watching this video till the end one more time let me in the comments if you're gonna like this type of video or you're not interested uh, and then I will decide if I'm gonna continue or not with this type of videos so guys one more time thank you for watching see you next time